How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse. Today I've got something really, really exciting. This is our PLA from Filamentive. This is fully recycled PLA from Waste PLA Resources. How cool is that? Let's get into it. So in terms of printing it, the first print I tried was the vase test on my Cocoon Create 3D printer, which is the Wanhell Duplicator i3 version 2 and it turned out beautifully using just the stock settings for PLA. One thing to notice is how glossy this red is. It's like a really rich candy red, and I really, really like that. I think for some prints, when you're trying to get that really shiny look, uh, it's gonna be the way to go. And I had no issues at all printing this at the stock settings on the, the Cocoon Create 3D printer. It did really well, the lines looked really nice. It was a little bit too far away from the bed, so the bottom's a bit rough, but that's totally my fault. Um, and it's actually pretty tough, you know, it's not, doesn't crack too easily. So it's, it's actually quite tough, uh, quite a tough PLA, which is really cool. Next, I went a little bit more ambitious and I printed this, which is Alduin. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description uh, where to get this model. But basically I sliced him using Simplify 3D, but I sliced him, I made a mistake. I sliced him on settings for my old Wanhao and I sliced him at 190 degrees uh, temperature. And I think what happened in this model, you can see it's got a few layers where the extrusion hasn't been quite right and I dropped it off the table and you know he split very easily so the layer adhesion was very low in this print and I think that's because the temperature was too low unfortunately but apart from that it did an admirable job the support material did pull away quite easily and I'm definitely going to reprint this guy because it looks absolutely fantastic it's sort of a, a bust for your wall like that um, but yeah so a few issues there but again I think it was my settings so I didn't want to discount the, the filament uh, quite that quickly, so I went to printing a small high detail print, and that was this. This is the classic owl from Thingiverse. Again, I'll put the link to all these files in the description. Uh, I printed him at 100 micron layer height, and I bumped the temperature up to 215 degrees Celsius. And that really seemed to make a massive difference in terms of the, the print quality. This is just phenomenal. There's a few deviations, but it's definitely the printer doing it, whereas a few sort of wavy imperfections, but it's definitely the printer, not the filament. There is no missed extrusion lines here, and the ears actually look really good. The ears are nice and clean without any wispy or melty bits, which is quite hard to do with PLA plastics. So again, you know, this filament is recycled, and therefore it's great for your conscience. You know, you're not just printing stuff from virgin materials that could have been used for food, like, you know, the corn could have gone off to Africa, doesn't, that doesn't happen. But anyway, you, you don't feel guilty about that, but also it's cheaper. The filamentive RPLA is actually quite well priced and yeah, I, that looks fantastic. So for my final print, I wanted to print something functional and I went with this. So this is an ant weight combat robot frame. Uh, for those who don't know, I actually build combat robots while well, I used to build them a lot more, not so much now. <laughs> But this is an all-in-one combat robot frame with little wheel wells for the wheels and screw points for the top cover and a point for a weapon at the front. It's actually quite a nice design in my opinion, you know, tuning my own horn, it's got some nice lofts and the, the filamentive RPLA pulled it off beautifully. There is one or two areas where the infill isn't quite accurate, doesn't it seems to have not infilled enough. Again, probably my slicing settings and also I printed this really, really fast for 4,000 millimeters per minute print speed, which is much faster than the usual 30 millimeters per second that most people print at. So there you have it. That's the RPLA from Filamentive. I am super stoked with how well this prints, especially considering it's from Recycled Resources. So huge thanks to Ravi for sending me this through. He's also sent me through some really cool other filaments from Filamentive. And a massive apology for taking so long to get this done. I didn't have a printer on hand to actually print this material and really give it justice. So thanks very much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see future 3D printing videos on Makers Muse, don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I've got future videos coming for Filamentive. So I've got their wood filament review coming up and also their recycled PET. That's really cool. And also their carbon filament. So I'm really keen to test them out. And if you don't want to miss it, don't forget to subscribe. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later.